Welcome back everybody. It is Dread BC with uh, two daily quests. Did not do anything uh, magic related yesterday. Messed around a little bit. Well, I didn't do anything serious magic related. Messed around a little bit in a, a game or two and ended up with two of my spells cast today, but I've also got the other 15 creatures left to kill, so hopefully we can knock that out. And so, since we're looking at blue or black, I'm going to play an Omniscient... Well, I call it Omnisif. This is a little bit different than what Gabriel Nassif ran at the Mythic Invitational, but it's a Dovin's Acuity type value deck. Uh, he chose to go four Revitalize, one Search for Ascanta, two Moments of Craving, four Thought Erasures, which are not in mine, which are a, just a, an incredibly good card to have. They take care of a lot of problems. Uh, two Cries of the Carnarium, also not in mine. In fact... I, I'm not super sold on this card as a main deck, maybe sideboard, but I, I mean, I guess drawing it main deck is good in some matches. And sideboard, it would just be too slow to try and get it out for seven mana. Three Absorbs, also not in the one that I run. Four Dovin's Acuities, two Mortifies, two Chemisters, three Masterminds, three Vraskas, four Kaya's Wrath, and one Nezahal main deck as the main deck Wincon, and a slew of lands. The... It, it, seriously, it's a one win con deck, and I never really liked the Esper Singleton win con decks, but I do rather like the Dovin's Acuity. Um, his sideboard was vastly different than this. I did make a couple of changes because I thought that there were just some things that it needed. For, for instance, he did not have a single Omniscience in either side, and I think that's sort of what fuels this deck. He did not have uh, Psychic Corrosion, which is another one of the win cons that can go. I mean, if they are able to kill your Nezahal and exile it from the game, and you can't get it back, you're out of win cons. I mean, that's it. So, um, clear the mind. I put two instead of one, because if one gets countered, there's always a chance for that second one. He has the Singleton Demystify, because it's cheaper than Mortify. I like that. That's a pretty good answer to just a, a pain-in-the-ass enchantment, like, say, a um, uh, Ixalan's Binding. Let's see. One Cry of the Carnarium. I think I threw this one in sideboard myself, but I'm willing to change it out possibly for even a second Psychic Corrosion. Uh, Singleton Mortify, which was also not in there, but I like Mortify a lot in that it can do multiple things. Like, you can get it from the sideboard and then return, use it to return your acuities to your hand even if there's no targets except the acuity. Uh, Singleton Cleansing Nova. One Lyra Dawnbringer is a hedge against the aggro -y decks. The Mirari Conjecture. We know how freaking amazingly fun this card is. Eldest Reborn. Good against, um, well, obviously it's good against Planeswalkers. It's great against Niv-Mizzet, who is starting to make this big comeback with uh, Teamer decks and uh, Jeskai decks. Uh, Ethereal Absolution, great against the Token Strats, great, uh, great against the Mono Whites, great against the Reds, but it's slow... But if you can land it, it's going to save you a lot of damage. Immortal Sun shuts down Planeswalkers. Always good to have. Draws extra cards. It sort of does all the things you want a card to do. Overflowing Insight to refill your hand. And as I said, Singleton Omniscience. And with tons of mana, a mass manipulation can take control of several things. Um, we're going to run it as is. Just to sort of see how it goes. Hopefully it'll perform well. And hopefully my voice is coming through. I'm sort of watching my gauges over here on the left-hand side. Oop, whoop. And uh, it looks like it should be pretty good. Playing against Xenomite. Xenomite. Good lands. Uh, and a draw spell. I think we'll keep it. This will keep us alive until we can cast Chemisters for sure. We've got one land that comes into play tapped. And the rest just come right in after it. I like it. I like it a lot. And it looks like... Playing against green-white. Well, top deck in the Thought Erasure feels pretty nice here. Turn to Amara. I think Conclave is a problem. God damn, this is a handful of gas, isn't it? I think we'll leave the Amara and get rid of Ajani. Probably the best thing. Don't really need the land right now. We'll have plenty of time to draw lands. That's the one swamp in the deck, too. One basic land in the whole deck. Sure. We expected this, folks. Let's not let him tap it. Kill it now. No protections. And alright, he scoops the game up. Well, 
We casted two black spells and killed one creature, so we are... No, three black spells. Or maybe it counted the blue and the black. I don't know. That was strange. And we killed one of 15. All right, moving along. Yeah, that was a super slow hand, and we just did nothing to let it go fast, so... I mean, he was on a two drop, and then the rest were, what, four plus? Combo decks focus on fun. Yeah, God damn it. I always start reading them right as they go away. When you spend less mana to answer a threat than it costs, you have gained an important mana advantage. That's true. Unless that creature had haste, in which case you didn't get a whole lot of advantage. Aggressive aggro decks. Look to win quick. God. God. Scottix. Which is, um, Skrillex's... Scottish, much older brother. He's a good guy, but he, uh, you know, he is Scottish. Uh, we'll keep this. If they're playing aggro, this is great against them. And we'll start with you. Just to make them fear that turn two thought erasure. Alright, snubby McSnubs. Alright, passing the turn. We can craving whatever we need to. Or just revitalize and draw. So I thought originally it was going to be mono white. As it turns out, it is Selesnia. Alright, we'll play the Watery Grave since I'm not going to be playing anything else at instant speed this turn other than revitalize. I like that extended out to the side. I don't care if it is just a mirror image, it still looks kind of cool. This one too. Sapperling Migration. Alright. Taking zero. My god. We're gonna gain three instead. <laughs> okay, so now we have arguments as to why we should not cry of the Carnarium and just go ahead and pass the turn. Let him try and do something to pump those dudes, and then just get him with that, like a Song of Frey Elise. Or a big Convoke. Looks like he's just going to attack for two. Alright, my turn. All right, so we could start working on Acuity Advantage, but I don't think that's the play here since we do have a Counterspell and a Chemist's Insight. So if he does something, we counter it. If he doesn't, we draw two. I actually do like the way this deck feels a lot. Spore Swarm, making three more. Yeah, we'll allow that. This Cry of the Carnarium is going to hit horrid. And I'll do that over using Akaya's Wrath. We'll take 8 here and go to 18 still. Fine with that. What you got, baby? What you got? History of Vanalia. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be a no. And now... Do we Acuity? Or just Wrath? Or I guess I should say just cry. I think we need to save the wrath, but I'm going to go ahead and cry now. <laughs> it sounds so weird to say that. I'm going to cry now, if, if I may. Yeah, that's fine. Would love to have drawn a land here. We have missed a couple land drops. Maybe playing the acuities would be better. Okay, good. Now this wrath is going to get extra value, which is, which is exactly what we wanted it to do. Okay, there's our Neza Hall, and Neza not much to do with it. Let's get drawing. I want to hit lands, and we're not in any danger of dying next turn. Mortify is not what we were looking for. I just did a test run against old Sparky there, and I had to search clear the mind in the sideboard, cast it, and 
by the time that game was done, by the time I actually got Nezahal into play, he was, it, it put me up against Sparky's crappy blue mill deck. And the thing is just ass. But by the time all was said and done, I had all tw I had 24 of my 25 lands in play. Inner's tapped. What could he possibly have to punish us this turn? I think a Wrath is probably fine here. Okay. That's fine. Did not get the plus one, plus one, so that's good. Okay. Taking 12. And we're probably thoroughly dead now. And now we're getting our lands. Is there any way I survive this? No, not unless I drew a board sweeper for two mana, which I can't do. So, we'll scoop it up. As it turns out, missing out on land drop after land drop is a problem. And that's alright. It just happens. Happens a lot to me. <laughs> <laughs> 25 lands, which is about two more than I run on average. Should increase my chances of drawing them significantly, and this is... Eh. We'll keep it. Turn to search. This is the Singleton Search for Escanta. Alright, now show me your Thought Erasure. No Thought Erasure! I'll be damned. Um, I think I'm actually going to library that. It seems weird to do this early, but I kind of want to have an answer for something. We don't have a whole lot of answers for things like Planeswalkers and stuff that can be revived. And he's playing the Black-White, which has Death Triggers and... Like Midnight Reaper. I'll happily exile that card. Actually, I'll keep that too. But for now... We'll see what they play first. Sure. I'll take the three. Basilica Bell Haunt. Hmm. Yep. Get rid of the thing we can't cast. Then, get rid of it. No bringing that one back, thank you. And we'll library that so I can cast Acuity. Holding Cry of the Carnarium and the Mortifying Hand. That's nice. If he's got another one, he's going to get this cry out of our hands, I'm afraid. But Take three. It's the secret choir. Midnight Reaper numero dos. And he's going to keep it. Okay. Library that. There's tapped. Hmm. Do we cry now? Or wait until he casts that Reaper? I don't want to give him the, the card draw. I mean, I'll, I could take five. I think I'm going to take five and then hit it with... Well... Fuck. There's no good choice here, really. That's the problem. You know, I'm just going to mortify to take a little bit less. Yeah, you can ping yourself and draw the card. That's fine. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Now this cry is going to get him pretty well. Especially if they have, like, a, a one-drop. Okay. Library that. For sure. Out of my game. Next turn we drop the Nezahadi. Militia Bugler. My god. What you got for me? Seeker Squire. Not terrifying. 
God, the shrine. Also not terrifying, as it turns out. Uh, we, I think we can start graveyarding lands now. Now let's see your singleton kill spell, or your kill spell to kill my one of creature in this deck. I just want to draw off of it. Plague Crafter, sure. Yep, that works. I really don't see how this deck is better than the other one. But, let's do this. Let's go for the top decks, right? Thought Erasure. <laughs> that works. Uh, Vraska's has got to go right. Cleansing Nova. Actually, Cleansing Nova's worse. Screw that. And I'll keep the Cry on top, or no? Let's go ahead and... Actually, hang on. View Battlefield. What do we got here? Seven? No, nah, I think we can keep the Cry on top, then. But no, we want to draw something to get some value out of this, so now we'll just, we'll just bend that. Flip his content next turn. Since we can't kill the bugler with the cry of the carnarium. Sure. Uh, anything I really want to get rid of over there? I guess Frasca's, but... That just really gains him life. That doesn't really do much for what I'm... Nah, we'll give that. We'll graveyard that. Transform. Draw Masterminds, which is perfect mundo here. Main deck or sideboard? That's the question. Probably sideboard, right? Four, eight. Let's go sideboard. And get... Overflowing Insight, and hope he doesn't draw make a spell that makes us discard. That's got to be good. All right, no discard. Ooh, I like it. Keep the absorb, because why not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We take two, four, go to three. But then after that, we should be able to pretty well stabilize. All right. Play that, and I guess just discard Godless Shrine. He's drawing land after land over there, isn't he? Alright. This is looking better. Doesn't seem like it, but I promise you it is. Okay. We wrath for sure. Get rid of all that. Alright. He gets the point. And if he's not letting us kill his creatures that way, which is two more that we have to get another time. But anywho, that took a while to stabilize. It was a little bit scary, but we managed to. We got there. This feels like a really... This feels like a less dovin deck. A less Dovin's Acuity deck and just a more Esper Control. Hmm. <clears throat> I say that, and then I draw two Dovins in my main hand and ways to cast them. Yeah, this is good. Good mana, too. I did not see if we were going first, but I think we are. Nope, take that back. Oh, gosh. This is going to be that Goblin, uh, that Calamities deck, I bet. We're going to see a Calamity this turn, I guarantee. Or he's just going to sack it and play the... Oh, War Boss. Okay. Well, that, that card is a problem, but Revitalize does help a lot. So since we got nothing else to do, what do we got over here? 
Goblin Gathering. That sucks. Direct damage. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the Strike because it's direct damage. Vraska's we cannot even cast. Get rid of that. Taking five this turn. Yep, yep, I'm taking five. Is he gonna play it out or is he gonna play around a rat? Okay. Alright, so. Two, four, six, nine this turn. There's the cavalcade, and this is why we held Absorb. Taking nine, going to eight. Wrath the board and start taking back over here. He's going to play the Skirk. Nice. We got him hard on this one, folks. That sounded really bad. That sounded really bad, but this is pretty much the most value you're going to get out of Akaya's Wrath. Yeah, I expected this card. Love the art on it, but if you know it's coming, it's much less amazing. You got it, man. I would love to draw land here so I could go Acuity and, and Revitalize. Or not. Or not. I mean, that's fine. Let's draw land. Land, land, land. That's a land. Yeah, I think I'll take the action, too. I'd like another land. That'd be a sweet... Firebrand. Take three. What's your last card? Nothing yet? Okay. Acuity first. I don't want to shock if I don't have to, but it looks like I'm gonna. Really make sure that we get... Ex oh man, that cry is great too. Goodness gracious. Drawing exactly what we need for maximum value here. A third Acuity. Jesus H. And there's taps. Make them cry of the Carnarium. Because we are not crying. And they scoop it up. It was over from there. They were not coming back from that. Two masterminds in hand. I could search pretty much whatever I wanted. Or I mean, well, I could definitely search whatever I wanted. I could I'd probably, I'd probably have gotten to revitalize. Something like that. Alright. Uh, that was three games. I think I'm going to open a pack and see what kind of luck we get from it. Maybe it's a mythic. Or probably just 20 gems. Yeah, 20 gems. Son of a bitch. Well, I need to open... What is it? 150 of those packs to get one of the guild packs? Yeah. Not loving those odds. Players with Mythic Orange names are MTG Arena members. I saw someone the other day with a tag that was Watsy something else, but it was not Mythic Orange, so jury's out on whether or not it was actually one of the members of Wizards of the Coast, or if he was just trying to pretend. Opponent goes first on the draw. I like this better. Acuity. Uh, we, we draw into other things, obviously. This is probably going to be... This Thought Erasure, I have a feeling, is going to take out a Lich. Phylactery Lich is my guess. In fact, I'm almost 100% certain. So we're actually going to not shock. I don't want to shock now because that deck is aggro. Show me the Lich. No Lich, but this is definitely that deck. Let's get rid of Masterminds and keep the Grave on top. We do have an answer for the Lich, so that's good. Yeah, they run the uh, this is the the mono black magic runs runs this walk the plank. He started he br he brought the popularity of this. All right, let's um they're not putting us under any pressure, so let's go ahead and just shock and acuity. Get some draw engine going. All right, so now they can play whatever they want to, and I'm not too worried about it. And if they do manage to find a uh, Lich, then uh, I can Contempt it, and it'll get us the Acuity back. 
No, treasure map, okay. What they really want to do with the Lich is they want to play the Lich, get the phylactery counter on the treasure map, and then flip treasure map, making it permanently indestructible and very difficult to deal with. He's going to flip that and get tokens. Do I want an acquisition for... Is there anything I want to acquisition for yet, or do I just want to get more information first? I'm going to go on the sideboard. I actually do want to just go ahead and knock this out now, since I've got time and he has nothing to do. He's got tons of kill spells. Lyra is not going to be very good. Probably Immortal Sun would be good here. Yeah, because, um, yeah, I think Immortal Sun's probably the, the big kicker here. If he wants to run out Lich, that's totally fine. I just want to get extra card drawn and see what kind of advantage we can bury them in. Duress? Okay, so the Immortal Sun I just picked up is now gone. Didn't have it the whole game, then they top deck it the turn after I use it. That's fucking... That's just fucking typical, though. Alright, Flip's Treasure Map. He's probably, he might be looking for Karn. Alright. What's he got over there? Nothing worth a damn. Fuck it. Past turn. Still can't get my acuity back. Well, I mean, I could mortify, but that's a waste right now. Yep. Flips treasure map, draws a tre draws a card off a treasure, I'm guessing. Yeah, here we go. Alright, now he's trying to hold some secrets. Well, bye bye Thought Erasure. Motherfucker. Draws exactly what he fucking needs, right as he fucking needs it. I use it last turn, it does nothing. And then he, of course, just top decks two duresses off the neck. Goddamn. This is where I do wish I had an unmoored ego. I would just take that entire fucking card out of the deck. But, you know what, we're doing this now. Fuck it. The fewer cards he knows about, the better. Yes, take the action, please. Except I already played a land this turn. Now he's got another duress, probably, and he's going to take that acuity. Yep. I swear to God, if he gets another duress, I'm going to lose my shit. Yep. Compass away, my friend. God damn it. Another land. Perfect. I should have played the Godless Shrine there. That was dumb. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, now all he needs is a duress to get rid of Vraska's Contempt, and then we are really going to be hurting... He's burying us in card advantage, and we're the ones with tons of draw spells. I like his Kanta. I like it a lot, actually. There's tapped. Well, I almost want a Wrath now, because I know how almost worthless it's going to be. It would help us flip his Kanta, too. Yep, say bye-bye to Contempt. Fucking third duress. Jesus Christ. Draw two more cards. Yep. Swamp, now he's going to flip this. So we can't really attack into him at all. That's fine, that actually doesn't bother me at all. Um, 
the library of that because I don't think it's going to matter, but I am going to cast it too. Yeah, three duress is gone. You're not going to have a whole lot to say about what I'm drawing here. Cool, a moment of craving is really good against the Adanto Vanguard that the black white list runs, but they don't have that in the mono black list. Definitely be flipping Escanta next turn. I'm tapped out, my friend. What you got for me? You are going to draw into that thing at some point. I know you are. I'm waiting for that Lich. But now you don't have any good artifacts for it. Unless this is some sort of a Banefire deck and you're getting a super slow start. Nadia Toffa. Alright, discarded two removal spells it looks like. Uh, we'll library that, we'll transform that. Start with you. Play another one. Land for turn, pass it. And now whatever they want to get rid of is fine. If they manage to rip the fourth Thought Renewal. Or, um, not Thought Erasure, um, Duress. All right, now we get to see what's going on. Show me your hand. Is this just mono black control, I'm wondering? Hmm. Don't care about anything else in that hand. Don't want that land either. All right, he no longer knows about a single card in our hand. Except for... Two Dovin's Acuities. Alright. And discard Godless Shrine EOT. No reason to play another tap land. Would really, really like to have a Thought Erasure, not Thought Erasure, a Mastermind's Acquisition soon. Two more left in the deck. 35 to 27. We actually have managed to see more cards than him now. Hi, my name is Cards. See more cards. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I am retarded. Oh, he's got a Masterminds. Look at this guy. wonder what he's going for. Maybe a Karn. <laughs> I have no clue what he could be searching for in all black, in mono black. But if he doesn't cast it this turn, I'm going to Thought Erasure him. We have 12 mana. 13 next turn. I mean, I guess he could have his fourth duress and sideboard. It could even be a thought erasure because he could have for a blue mana. All right, he realizes he's got absolutely nothing against all the control that we've got and scoops it up. Well, I mean that wasn't the most exciting victory, but a lot of times with these super hyper controlly decks, it's not exciting, is it? Well, that's how it rolls, Mister Nasif. You might have outdone yourself. This deck is actually fine. I didn't like it at first, but the more I play it, the more I realize all it really wants to do is just get someone so goddamn dejected they can't play against the deck anymore. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. I still think that the addition of a few more, um, 
threats in the sideboard was a good thing. I do like the clear the mind, just because it's a being milled sucks, and uh, milling yourself sucks worse. Um, Lyra's good, but it might even be a little too slow to be in the sideboard unless this is like if if you were to take this to best of three, you could side her in. Then I don't think she's too slow. Uh, but I mean, I guess she's not. You do have a lot of life gain main deck, but I don't know. The, I have not played best of three in so long that I, I almost don't know what you would have to do, what what kind of changes you would want to make. But that's the deck. That's how it runs. It's very similar to the other one, although just a little bit more on the uh, Esper control side, less on the Dovin's Acuity train, and I think it might be a little more... Um, I don't want to say consistent, because they're both very consistent, but yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it's just a little more consistent when you play it with this one. I like the Thought Erasers a lot. It's This is the card that uh, it has a, one of the biggest gaps in fun when you're playing it against someone and when you're having it played against you. Having your hand ripped out, like, I would rather be, I'd rather have stuff counterspelled than have it pulled from my hand without a chance to cast it, you know what I mean? I'm one of those weird people who just don't like the one-for-one -one trades, the duresses, thought erasures, thoughts, thought seizes, uh, uh, inquisition of cause election shit like that. I, they drive me up the damn wall. I hate discard, but I hate a lot of things. So I don't know. Maybe magic's not for me. <laughs> That's the deck. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment with any suggestions, questions, comments, concerns. If you decide to run the deck, let me know what you think. And, uh, you can go to channelfireball.com and let Gabriel Nassif know what you think. And, uh, yeah, I don't take credit for too much of this one. I take credit for some of the sideboard. That's about it. But good luck, and I'll see you next time.